my name is Kylie Gerhardt, and I am the dietitian here at the ALS Center of Hope in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Because of the diminished activity and the decreased diaphragm function, patients living with ALS sometimes experience issues such as constipation. So one of my key roles here is to provide recommendations to ease the constipation. Um, first, I always try to recommend natural solutions before jumping into things such as stool softeners, laxatives, enemas. So my first recommendation is usually to try to increase the amount of fluid that the patient is taking in every day. Um, the general recommendation, recommendation is eight, eight ounce glasses of fluids per day, so that's equivalent to about two liters. That kind of just keeps you hydrated, keeps everything moving well, and if you're increasing your fluids, then it's also safe to slowly increase your fiber intake as well. So you can do things such as um, adding more whole grains into your diet, more fresh fruits and vegetables, dried fruits, beans, nuts, seeds, that type of thing. All of the, the fiber will help bulk up your stools, but also keep it moving and make it a little bit softer. Now you don't want to increase your fiber if you're not increasing your fluids as well, because all that will do is bulk up your stools and kind of make them harder and it won't flow through as well, so it could kind of give you the opposite issue. So when increasing fiber, increase it slowly and increase it with your fluid intake as well. Um, another thing you can try to do is drink a lot of warm drinks, teas. Um, there's a tea on the market called Smooth Move. A lot of patients swear by this tea. It really keeps them regular. Um, you can do things such as fruit juices, prune juice specifically, even just having packages of prunes or raisins. They um, really have been shown to help constipation. Another thing that patients have told me is that they add coconut oil either to their smoothies or to their food and their cooking, and that helps them go. Um, and then if all of these things aren't working and natural you know, food is just not working for you, that's when it's recommended to go to a stool softener like Dolcal, um, sorry, like Senecot or a laxative like Dolcalax, Miralax. Some patients have to take this every day, even a few times a day, and that's just their new norm. Um, I wouldn't go, I wouldn't take an enema unless recommended by your doctor. It's always safe to check with your doctor before trying any of these over-the-counter products. However, if you are uncomfortable with not going every day and you're having a lot of stomach pain, then it is important to try these solutions. You don't want to end up with a bowel obstruction or something more serious from constipation. So I hope you found the information in this video beneficial, and if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us.